time for a good cleaning on something like this so we're gonna get this all cleaned up but what we do the beauty of soft washing is that we don't have to uh, sit here with a wand like in the pressure washing days and go roll by roll with a lot of high pressure hitting that house We don't have to do that anymore uh, Now we let science do the work for us the, the uh, Algicides that we're using in a detergents. They're commercial grade uh, Not just anybody can get them and uh, they work incredible and they they will take care of all of this uh, I mean our system is right here. We have soap and soap dispenser rinse gun and a, a wash line but even out of this when i'm rinsing i can put my hand in front of this it's not much more it's about double what a garden hose is but it's very gentle on your house so there's no damage that's going through there plus it allows us to get these kind of things like these peaks up here i don't have to climb on this roof to get those we can clean that up look at how dirty that is up there we can clean that I'll show you afterwards and we can make that absolutely beautiful and I do not even have to go up there again because we can let that detergents and those algicides do the work and they will eat all of those cobwebs off they will eat this black that you see right here they will just devour that because it's organic all of that is dirt and organic material and these algicides and the detergents are designed to clean that organic stuff now you will also notice here that we have a lot of landscaping all the way around this place completely safe these are safe we have no issues there we take uh you know making sure everything is perfect to the highest level here at power soft washing look at i have every outlet every key lock tape so i'm not pushing any water into any of that kind of stuff um so protection of everything is, is paramount. Uh, in the, in the, all the years we've been doing this, we have never damaged a home in any way um, with any kind of thing. So it's, and that's the beauty of soft washing. We have all right, so let's talk about the X-Jet. What is the X-Jet? Because the X-Jet is by far the best way to actually wash your house for the consumer grades. So you get into starting to build your own 12 volt soft wash systems, which most homeowners are never gonna do, but most of you guys are buying a pressure washer because you wanna be able to use it for washing your house. If you got a two gallon or more pressure washer, okay, two gallon per minute, okay, the pressure means nothing. Pressure is irrelevant on a house. The only place high pressure matters is on concrete. Other than that, high pressure is irrelevant. It is all done with chemicals correctly. So. We know that an X-Jet is a great idea. So what is it and how does it work? All right, so there's this thing called a downstream injector. This is a downstream injector. Okay, so if you think about your pressure washer and it's got a tank on it and it says add soap here, that soap is gonna run through the pump of your pressure washer and that's bad. A downstream injector, such as what this is, means that it goes downstream of the pump, not upstream through the pump. So this would go basically between your outlet of where your water connects into your pump or where your hose is goes between the hose and the gun so the pump is here flowing water and then this goes in it hits here and throws water out there then this goes into a bucket and draws your chemical now a downstream injector they draw at a specific ratio they cannot be changed uh so i'm not a big fan of downstream injectors i don't care about them at all but now the x jet the advantage to an X-Jet, what we have going on with the X-Jet is that we have the ability uh, to change proportioners that go into this, okay? So an X-Jet is basically the same concept. This will go into here, okay? And you have all this 40 foot of hose and you have your X-Jet nozzle right here. Same concept as a downstream injector in the fact that your pump is over this way on this end Pushing water through here comes out of your hose and then this goes into it. This actually connects to the end of your gun. So, but it's still downstream, okay? So none of this soap or solution or chemicals are going through the pump of your machine. It's all downstream at the end of the hose. Now, how an X-Jet works is you can run it wide open. Okay, wide open is with no orifices in there, okay, and they have a ratio, and it's going to draw through Venturi system, a vacuum system, it will draw through this tube to wherever you stick this in your five-gallon bucket or whatever it is, it will draw that soap 
at a specific, specific ratio, but they also give you different proportioners, little plastic pieces you can put in here. I'll show you a link to them in the charts on what does what. They will can make that orifice smaller and draw less chemical, so it's really controlled. And then you have a fan tip on here, so you can watch those blades move. Okay, that would be a fan spray real wide. That would be wide open for a stream. But it's as easy as turning that nozzle on there. So what this does is it's going to allow you to put chemical onto your house like you want it to be done um, without running it through your pump. You should never be running bleach through a pump on your house. Okay, or running bleach through a pressure washer because bleach will destroy all this stuff in there. So anytime we're using bleach, we want it downstream of the pump. Again, pump is here. Water comes through the pump, it's going to go through your pressure washing hose and out the end of your gun. Anything this side of the pump is downstream. Okay, your soap container on your pressure washer is probably upstream, meaning it's going to go through the pump with all the chemicals. That's bad. So downstream is what we want, downstream of there. The X-Jet works downstream. Now, how this happens is we I don't use these I build my own which I'll show you but so when you buy this kit you're gonna get this 40 foot of hose and then all you have to do is you take this so you're gonna say you're let's say you're using a uh, let's say you're using a two gallon per minute machine okay your machine is two gallons per minute so you would buy the number seven X jet okay they come as different numbers this is a number 13 for my four gallon per minute one but you buy it as a, like say you had a two gallon machine, it's going to be a, I think it's a set, I think it's a three, X-Jet number three or whatever it is, but you'll see when you look at your gallon per minute, okay? They got them for a two to two and two and a half, a three to three and a half, four to four and a half, and so on and so forth. So you buy the one that matches your machine, okay? Then when you get it, let's just forget the ratios and all that and all those little, uh, um, little uh, ports that you can put in there that will change those ratios. Even if you run it wide open on a two gallon per minute machine, it's about a 8.8 .8 to one. So it's almost one to one water to chemical. So for example, with that, you could take your five gallon bucket like this. So you take your five gallon bucket and in it, what you're gonna do is, uh, so let's say you wanted a, uh, uh, let's say that you wanna run a mix of say 2%, okay, so then you're going to put in pool shock, which is 10% if you take and you buy pool shock, which is the best way to buy bleach, by the way, because it's so it's higher percentage. 10% pool shock is 10% sodium hypochlorite, which is the same thing as bleach, okay, same as Clorox, same as everything. Clorox is usually 5%. And you pay just as much per gallon as you do for pool shock, which is 10% or 12.5%. This is 10%. But you get 10% and it's going to be uh, the same price. You get twice as much power of bleach in here when you water this down. So if we were to take this and we wanted to hit that ratio. So let's say that we filled this 5-gallon bucket uh, with 2.5 gallons of bleach and 2.5 and gallons of water. On that one to one ratio, almost a 0.8, so called one to one ratio, you're basically going to be drawing through your X jet when you're spraying this with the soap on there. You're going to be drawing about a 5% mix of bleach, way too hot for anything you're going to do. But it goes to show you that you could get all the way up to a 5% if you needed to, and you really knew what you were doing, you want to do your roof or something like that, you could get by. It would. This X-Jet is powerful enough to, to clean that stuff. But so if you wanted to take that down to like a 2.5%, then you would put, like, if you put one gallon of bleach and three parts of water in there, then basically you're taking it down to about a two and a quarter percent, even a little less. But if you were to put it in simple terms, if you were to take this 10 gallon thing of, or 10% bleach, and you put half of this bottle in there and fill the rest up with water, it's going to clean your house at about a 1% and be absolutely perfect, one to one and a half percent. But that's all it needs is to take a bottle of pool shock, Pour half of this into a five gallon bucket, fill the other half with water, and then you're going to stick this end of it, this end right here, you're going to stick that end down in there. This end is connected to your 
um, connected to here, and then you just, as you walk, you got 40 feet or whatever, 30 feet, well, 15 feet, I think it's 15 feet they give you here. Again, I make my own, um, so I don't use their components. But you get 15 feet, so you're just going to set that bucket down. You can wash 30 feet of your house, 15 feet this way, 15 feet that way, spraying that stuff on. Pick the bucket up, move it around with you to the other side. Don't be afraid to make a dedicated bucket for this by taking... A lid, for example, taking a simple lid and drilling a hole in here big enough to be able to fit this plunger head through that and put that on there, it's going to be a lot less chance of spillage or uh, things like that. But, I mean, it's all you need is a five-gallon bucket. So, now there's some other options. But how does it work before we get into the containers and things? So, basically, your X-Jet, like this, has the tube has your strainer end, you also have a valve right here. When you open that valve up, now you are drawing from this X-Jet and spraying it out of this nozzle. Again, this is an M5 twist adjustable fan to uh, stream, okay? So you can then, with that open, you spray and soap one whole side of your house or half a side or whatever you want, but you're just gonna soap that whole thing like you're seeing me do here in the picture. What I'm using to do this job that you're seeing is this X-Jet, same thing. But I soap it down, then you can turn this valve and now you're no longer drawing soap but just spraying straight water. Then you go ahead and you rinse doing the same exact concept, all right? So that's all there is to it. But what it does is it allows you to get the ratio of bleach. Bleach is something that we use to clean houses. Until you know what you're doing, keep your percentages at under 1% bleach. Uh, or about 1% bleach and you're not going to burn up vegetation, anything like that. But you need bleach to kill the organics on your house. Mold, mildew, dirt, grime, cobwebs, spider webs, all the stuff that's there, mud dauber. You need bleach to kill this stuff. Okay, you can't just go up there with the high pressure and sit there and, and knock it off because all you're doing is knocking the surface off. The spores are still there. Bleach cleans everything. Bleach is what we use as professional pressure washers to clean houses all the time, okay? Cautious with it on wood if it's stained, it will take stain off. It can, now again, at 1%, you're pretty safe. But anything you don't want, like that, if you got wood, stained wood decks, it wouldn't hurt to water them down first, okay? That way it's even more diluted when it hits it. Keep your de decks wet, things like that. But for your siding, for your brick, for your stucco, uh, for any of that kind of stuff that most houses are today, hardy board, um, cement board, fiber board, any of this stuff, wood, if it's painted wood, it's fine. As long as the paint is not a... Uh, uh, organic paint like by Benjamin Sheridan where they uh, where you know they use organic paints and bleach kills organics but do a test spot first if you're concerned to double check it X-Jet is the way to do it though no more high pressure on your house buy yourself an X-Jet that is going to be rated for your machine how does it work so basically when you put that in you're going to stick that end into your jug X-Jet's connected to this hose on this end take your gun you put the X-Jet on the gun Right there, okay, that's it. You're going to have that on your wand or whatever you got. The hose is sticking out, as you see in the video. Soap the whole house with it. With that. So right now, we're going to apply the soap all along this side, all up on that peak. We're going to get that soap, algicides, and detergents on there and let them get to work. look at that gutter line you can already see what that soap is doing on there and how that's cleaning that off that valve open you'll see the soap come out okay you'll see it that bleach mixture of water bleach coming out of there you spray it on the house let it dwell for five or seven minutes don't let it dry on there and then all you're going to do is flip that valve on this hose turn this little valve and then now again you can adjust fan to whatever now you're going to rinse it okay that's all there is to it, and it's going to be spotless. All right, we've let that dwell for about five minutes now. We're going to go ahead and let these algicides, we let them do what they got to do and break everything down and get it free, as you see. Now we are going to rinse this. Uh, we let that detergents and stuff do most of the work for us. Now it's just a matter of cleaning off uh, the leftovers.
like I said, low pressure. Okay, I mean, you look at, I mean, just like a garden hose. Nothing there that's gonna damage your house. It's gonna be so clean, it's gonna blow your mind. Um, so the X-Jet, it is the ultimate home cleaning system, okay? Not your pressure washer. The pressure washer is just a, a device to get this stuff up there. This is what cleans your house. This is the best way for a DIY homeowner to do it. It's not much different than using a standard pump up sprayer like this. I don't think I have another one in here anywhere open, but using a pump up sprayer, like one of these, okay, where you fill it full in your mixture, pump it, and squirt it. An X Jet's really not a lot different. It's doing the same exact concept as that. It's just doing it via the power of your pressure washer. So you don't got to sit there, keep pumping and doing this, pumping and doing this. This will do it. If you don't want to go the route of a five gallon bucket, you can do other things. They sell an X Jet bucket. This is an actual dedicated X Jet bucket. It's like another 30 bucks or something, but it comes with its own hose on here, and you would now just disconnect this and connect it right to this. These two would be connected together, like a so. So you'd have that on there, and then you just stick this in there, but this would allow it to seal up, okay? So now when this is on here, and this is tightened up, you're actually sealed, and you got a little vent valve on the back right here, but now that's sealed, and it won't, if it tips over, it's not going to leak any. That's the only advantage to something like that. These are very flimsy, very, very cheap and flimsy, and they don't last me one season, and I go through them. That's why I don't even bother. I don't, I don't even use them anymore. I, they, they piss me off for the money. So I started using these, okay? Get these from Tractor Supply, buy them on Amazon, whatever you want. They're race jugs, fluid jugs. But what I did is, since this 15-foot hose, see, you can buy this as a kit. Sorry, I know I'm kind of going all over, but it's important to understand. You can buy this as a kit for about 180 bucks. Okay, somewhere in there, give or take a few bucks either way. It's one whole kit. Or you can often buy this for less money, for somewhere in the neighborhood of like $120. And then I make my own version of this. What I do for that is I, this is my X-Jet set up here that I use for professional work that I use all the time. But I have, I bought some Flexzilla hose. Okay, this is just standard quarter inch Flexzilla water line, um, or air compressor line is what it is, but it's quarter inch. But I bought this, and then I took, and let's get to the end of it here where we can see, let's lay this out. So I can show you, so we get both ends here. So I have mine on here too. This is the X-Jet head, this is the X-Jet body. These are identical, the only difference is, is I opened it up here, and I, you know, I took this, I put a wand in here, between here and here. Uh, I put a, this length, this 12-inch wand, extension wand, Lance, in here. Uh, and I did that because it helps keep some of the, the misting down for what I'm doing again as a pro. Same, same head. This is the same thing. All I did was take it apart and add an extension wand in here. Very easy to do. Um, you can buy those. I have one right here. As a matter of fact, let me see. Yeah, I do. Right here. An extension wand. You can get them right on Amazon, okay? Put some thread tape on the end, take this thing apart, stick it right between there, and now you see what I have, okay? That's all it is. It's an extension wand in there. But it just helps keep down the uh, the mist that comes out of that. So, um, but with this X-Jet, that's it. And I leave it connected to this hose all the time. And here it is, same thing. Plugs right in the end of my gun, okay? 
spray my soap on. I do not have a valve in this line, okay? There is no valve in here anymore because I don't ever just turn that valve and then go to water um, because I don't, I, I'd, I'd rather just take this off and unhook it and rather than, once I soap, remember when you're soaping you got this line plus the pressure washing line, two hoses you're bringing around with you, okay? So you soap it, get it on there. When I'm done soaping, I would rather remove this and take that line out of the equation and I put another M5 twist, same thing as this, just without the soap set up on there, okay, on here, and I got the same functionality with the twist, and now I can rinse and run and I only have one hose. So that's why I do it, again, as a pro. Um, whereas a homeowner, you might be just fine running, using this for everything with the valve on. But if you do not want to, and you want to use that just for soap, you can get yourself another tip. These M5 twists are expensive, but they are pro-grade. If you don't want to go that route and spend that much money, you can get something like this. This is the same thing, just for consumer versions. Okay, same kind of thing. It's just a spray nozzle right there like that. Ryobi has them. They're like 14 bucks. They call it a soap blaster. But this will plug right into the end of your gun, and it's the same concept. If I open this real fast here, let's cut one open and show you. Okay, and pop this open. We're gonna get it out of here. Okay, we look at this. It is the same thing. Look inside there. As I turn it, it tightens and opens. See? Tightens up, opens up. Fan right there, wide open there. Okay, so it's the same concept as this one is fan, not fan. You know, fan, spray. Same thing. They are basically the same thing. This is a $14 version. This is an $80 version. Again, pro grade kind of stuff. But this will sit right on here just like that and do the same thing that you want it to do if you want it just as a rinse nozzle and to not be connected uh, and have to run through that X jet. Now, the other thing I do is for the container because I hate that container that you can buy with it. It doesn't last long. Five gallon buckets are a pain in the butt to deal with. I bought one of these jugs, okay? This one still has bleach in it. You can see it down there in the bottom. That's bleach. That's pure 10% bleach rolling around in the bottom. What I did is I took this top and I unpulled that, I popped that, that uh, plug out of there. There's a pink plug in there, okay? Go, it runs right on through for you to put a gas nozzle into it. One of these. Okay, I got tons of these, but this is designed for this to be able to screw in and now you make it a gas can. Okay, that's all it is. But I take that plug out, and then I put my holes through. So we end up with, let's pull that out this way, because this is actually, should be just water in this line. But, so I have one of those on here, and I have my hose running through it. This is the same hose that we have right here. This is the other end of it. And I have that, I put a hose clamp on there at the height I want, and I have it stuck in here, so it sits right on here. Now I can take this, I don't want to stick it in that bleach or drop it in and screw this right on the top. And now I have 40 feet of X-Jet line. I have 40 feet of this line that I can now, as you're seeing in the video, when I'm out here and I'm running it, you'll see that I have two hose lines coming from me. I have this green one for my X-Jet, and I have my regular gray one as my hose, but now I can walk 40 feet in one direction. So I can cover 80 foot long side of a house in one shot, take this, as soon as I hit this with this on, spray fan or stream, whatever I want, but I can soap that entire house, that whole side of that house, get everything completely covered with soap, disconnect this, set it down, somewhere where it's not going to leak much, so I usually take it, and if it's, up, if it's upright like this, it doesn't usually leak, and I hang it right on my X-Jet bucket, and I take my M5 twist, or in your case, take this one, this little uh, Ryobi soap shoot blaster, set that, and now I can spray and rinse the entire house off a few minutes later. That's all there is to it, okay? It's a very simple system. So to kind of recap for you on there, what you're looking for, you can buy just the X-Jet like this, and then get yourself some Flexzilla quarter-inch airline hose, cut it to whatever length, or leave it full 50 feet if you want to, and clamp it on the end of your X-Jet, and make your own one of these, 
or put it right in a five gallon bucket, either way, whatever you want to do, okay? This little screen on there, I haven't used one of these screens in a very long time and I don't think it's of any value, personally. I don't think it matters. Just stick the end of the hose in the bucket. I'm not pulled, I've never clogged up. This X-Jet here is going on three years old and I've never had it get jammed up on me. So I don't think that little screen is that important. I don't think this whole hose is that important because I don't want the valve because of the fact that I'm going to, I don't want to have to use this extra hose the whole time I'm doing it. I would rather soap, or rather use this just to apply the soap, which is a quick process. To do the side of a house, when I apply that soap on there, it's going to take me about three minutes to soap the whole side of the house. But it's going to take me 15 minutes to rinse the whole side of the house using this. So I'd rather only spend three minutes with running two hoses out of my out of my gun, this one plus my pressure hose, I'd rather only have that going for three minutes and tripping over extra hoses and then be able to then drop that one off, lose that hose completely, and then use this, which is one hose, while I spend that 15 minutes rinsing. Okay, so that's the option. If you don't want to go that route and you want to, you can buy the whole entire kit of everything you need right here for like 180 bucks, and you can just drop it into a five gallon bucket. But an X-Jet is what makes the difference. And again, I'm showing you the charts on here that are going to show you what ratios you can do. But even if you put nothing in there and run it wide open, once you look at the ratio chart, just mix that much water and so or bleach into your container so that you're getting those numbers. Again, for a house wash, 1% is all you need. A 1% ratio, a total mix, okay? Your bleach concentration, when you buy it, is a pool shock, and if it's a 10%, it'll say right on there, but if it's a 10% mix, you want to take that down to a 1% mix with water, okay? And again, I'm putting all that stuff here for you to show you how to do that. But this is how you pressure wash a house. Forget high pressure, forget working through there and destroying stuff with that. I don't care what pressure washer you got. Try this. This X-Jet thing will change the way you clean it. What used to take you six or eight hours to clean your entire house row by row with that pressure washer and all you're doing is knocking off the surface, running some bleach or some pool shock at a good at a 1% ratio in this and running a X-Jet will let you clean your entire house literally in an hour to a, uh, one to two hours. You will have your whole house sparkling spotless, clean soffits, clean gutters, clean everything. Whites will be popping. Everything will be beautiful. Mold, mildew gone. Everything will be spotless. Very simply. And an X-Jet is the way for a homeowner to do that the most successfully. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, links will be down below for all this stuff. And I hope you enjoyed all the little insets we put in it too. Thanks for watching. Hi, welcome to Power Soft Washing. This is Jason Sam Kovac, and today we're going to show you how soft washing works and what we do here uh, at Power Soft Washing in respect to the houses, to protection, to everything here. So, uh, as you can see, we have a beautiful house right here that we're getting ready to do. And uh, as you can see, up on the peaks, very dirty all along there. You can see these peaks over here, very dirty. Uh, you can see all the dirt and all the debris that is on there i'll show you the other side as well too you can see the neglect here and not you know just you know it's just time for a good cleaning on something like this so we're going to get this all cleaned up but what we do the beauty of soft washing is that we don't have to uh sit here with a wand like in the pressure washing days and go roll by roll with a lot of high pressure hitting that house we don't have to do that anymore uh now we let science do the work for us the, the uh algicides that we're using in a detergents they're commercial grade uh, not just anybody can get them and uh they work incredible and they they will take care of all of this uh i mean our system is right here we have soap and soap dispenser rinse gun and a, a wash line but even out of this when i'm rinsing i can put my hand in front of this it's not much more it's about double what a garden hose is but it's very gentle on your house so there's no damage that's going through there plus it allows us to get these kind of things like these peaks up here i don't have to climb on this roof to get those we can clean that up look at how dirty that is up there we can clean that i'll show you afterwards and we can make that absolutely beautiful and i do not even have to go up there again because we can let that detergents and those algicides do the work and they will eat all of those cobwebs off they will eat this black that you see 
right here they will just devour that because it's organic all of that is dirt and organic material and these algicides and these detergents are designed to clean that organic stuff now you will also notice here that we have a lot of landscaping all the way around this place completely safe these are safe. We have no issues there. We take, uh, you know, making sure everything is perfect to the highest level here at Power Soft Washing. Look at I have every outlet, every key lock tape, so I'm not pushing any water into any of that kind of stuff. Um, so protection of everything is, is paramount. Uh, in the, in the, all the years we've been doing this, we have never damaged a home in any way um, with any kind of thing. So it's, and that's the beauty of soft washing. We have cameras that we cover and we tape those and bag them off so that uh, we're not getting any water detergents on those so everything is very well protected but all of these this uh, landscaping that you see around here this is not an issue for soft washing this stuff is there's there's no damage that's going to happen to any of this kind of stuff this house is going to be clean spotless without any concerns or alarm of anything of worrying about anything happening to the actual property so it's a very beautiful system but like i said we can clean this whole thing all from ground level including look at the the mold that that is growing on there in the two corners there we can get all that stuff right here from the ground that whole top level while well, well keeping everything completely safe protected uh, but we're going to clean this house up very very nice you can see even a ring doorbell here we have it taped off there's a, a piece of plastic in there covering it and then i tape it over so everything is protected so we're not you know no chance of putting water where we don't want to have water you can see this whole side because so i will show you in process and before and after and you can see those peaks up there we will be able to clean all of that from down here which means i do not have to have ladders up there i do not have to be walking all over your house i don't have to be standing there with high pressure wands it's just a very simple soft process to get things cleaner than there. there's no other way to clean it if you were to come in and hit this even on these gutter lines and only use water on these to clean this and or mild soap you're not killing the the spores you're not getting down and cleaning to the spore factor of that organic material that needs to be cleaned in order to do that you need to write algicides you need to write uh, detergents to do it and when you kill that at the spore level and get it that clean there is nothing that can make it cleaner that's as clean as it can be and that means that it's going to stay cleanest the longest because you're not just knocking off the surface stuff you're actually killing that organic growth right down at the spore and root level which is what we want which is going to give us a beautiful home we use rinsing agents in our water so that our windows stay nice and clean and spot free and uh, we pride ourselves on taking care of everything so and we can be in and out in, in a in a quicker amount of time uh, than pressure washing is as well too because we do have all those safety precautions in order so everything is here you're going to see we're going to go ahead and set you up and i'm going to show it to you in person live so you can see it all happen you have to forgive the one camera guy kind of deal here this is a small place so i'm doing it myself today bigger houses we bring the whole crew but this is a sweet easy one which also gives me the time to be able to make this video so right now we're going to apply the soap all along this side, all up on that peak. We're going to get that soap, algicides, and detergents on there and let them get to work. So now, as you can see, if you look at that gutter line, you can already see what that soap is doing on there and how that's cleaning that off. I'll bring you in here and let you see. So you can see that that is already making a tremendous difference. You saw what it looked like in it before, but look at what it's doing there. Again, science-based, no high pressure, just beautiful science-based detergents and algicides to clean this stuff and make it perfect. Now we're going to let that dwell for about five minutes and then we're going to start rinsing and cleaning everything. And uh, so we'll be right back and let you see it all as uh, that happens. All right, we've let that dwell for about five minutes now. We're going to go ahead and let these algicides, we let them do what they got to do and break everything down and get it free as you see. 
Now we are going to rinse this. Uh, we let that detergents and stuff do most of the work for us. Now it's just a matter of cleaning off uh, the leftovers. Like I said, low pressure, okay? I mean, you look at, I mean, just like a garden hose. Nothing there that's gonna damage your house. And that is how soft washing is done science-based, chemical-based, detergent-based, and nothing gets a house cleaner, and nothing does it more safely for your house, your landscaping, your vegetation. Everything about soft washing is designed to be zero damage, ultimate cleaning, and get it done the right way. And that is what a soft wash house looks like. Perfect. Those are actually, that's a fly up there. It's not a speck of nothing on there. Like I said, absolutely perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Clean. Look at those gutters. Look at that. Zoom in a little bit so you can see them. I mean, just flawless. That's the power of soft washing right there. That's what it can do for you. That is soft washing at its finest and like i said nothing gets there's nothing that will get your house cleaner oh my gosh look landscaping's all perfect those days of pressure washing and high pressure smashing into your house and all that stuff those days are gone this is this is you know we have done that and and it's been seven years since we've you know hit hit a house with high pressure uh like i said with soft washing technology and science i mean it just doesn't get any better uh than this for cleaning a house it is by far the best most effective way and kills everything right down to the root level another fly on there and it is absolutely perfect and that is how we do it all we got to do now is take the tape off the outlets and uh you know take the bags off the cameras and stuff already got the bag off the back one and uh that is there that's a wrap so uh any questions feel free you check us out powersoftwashing.com